We know 5G will redefine how people live, work, and play. But to get there, wireless companies must foster, fuel, and fund the tech visionaries who will drive 5G forward. We are doing this through the 5G Open Innovation Lab, the T-Mobile Accelerator, and the T-Mobile Ventures. Three programs that support emerging tech leaders working to create the connected future. These programs have already produced some exciting concepts, like Halo's driverless electric car that runs on our 5G network, and a food resiliency project that is helping farmers produce more food using less water, less fertilizer, and less pesticide. And right now, the latest batch of startups to join the 5G Open Innovation Lab is working on exciting new 5G solutions like mixed reality for frontline workers, smart factory automation, robotics, and more. But we are not stopping there. Today, we are announcing that T-Mobile is kicking off work with Deutsche Telekom and other new partners to create new augmented reality applications through Qualcomm's XR developer platform. We are focused on education, gaming, sports, and entertainment. And I cannot wait to show you what we create. But look, sometimes a great idea just needs funding. And that's why we created an in-house venture fund we call T-Mobile Ventures to help bring great 5G concepts to life. Today, I am announcing that we are investing in two growing companies. The first is SignalWire, an early leader in software-defined telecom. They enable voice, video, and messaging APIs for next-gen communications applications. The second is SpectroCloud, a Kubernetes enterprise management platform that removes barriers to cloud infrastructure. Today's addition to our innovation programs are an exciting step forward. Now, let's take a look at some of the amazing results we are already seeing. Halo is a very unique product where we bring an all-electric car without a driver inside to your doorstep. To do that, we need a very reliable network that we can trust. We work with them to make sure the network is seamless for this type of operation. Whoa, it's really, really good. One of the things that 5G networks let us do is bring a more robust, higher fidelity type of entertainment to people than we could have done in the past. Fans can be transported and have the experience that they can't have in two dimensions watching a game on television. Instead of virtual reality being a part of the classroom, virtual reality becomes the classroom. Let's say, for example, you are out there in the field and you need to connect to an expert remotely. Low latency and high bandwidth is a big deal. A partnership with T-Mobile is allowing us to dramatically improve the fan experience. What we're building is our first 5G racing truck. And for the first time ever, we're going to be able to stream immersive HD content to our fans in real time on America's fastest 5G network. I think this is just the beginning. We're only scratching the surface. I think sky's the limit for what that could look like in the future. 